Alrighty, so for this part of the solution, I thought it would be helpful to make a video walkthrough solve so that you can kind of see exactly what I'm doing visually and it might help with understanding how the solution works. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the scramble. Okay, so here's our scramble, and looking over, see what we got. So our three white edges are right here, here, and here. We got these two white triangles here, and then we've got this one over here. So we're going to try to build our white center first. So the first thing we can do is an L prime, which will match this up here and this up here. And so with this white edge, we can pair this up with it to form the large trapezoid. So we could do U prime and then an R. And before I do the R move, this white triangle was over here. So we'll do BR prime. And that way, when we do R to pair this up here, it also pairs the small trapezoid up right here. So we pair them both at the same time. Then we can finish with F, BL prime. And so now that forms our white center on top. And that was only six moves, so that was pretty good. Now we move on to the first two triples. So I see this one's already paired up, and it's actually in the right spot, but it's just flipped. So we'll do LO prime, reorient the puzzle. So to put it in the right way, we'll do U prime, BL, F prime. And that puts it in correctly. So that was the first triple. It was already made for us. It was pretty simple. So now for the second triple, we'll focus on this corner here. So this cyan and this cyan triangle here. So we can do R prime to match these up. And then the magenta one's the, left, the last one left, so we see the magenta triangle over here. So we can do U prime, R prime to pair these up. And then finally, R, W, U prime will put it in the right spot for us. So there's the second triple. So now that we have that done, we move on to our second center. So now if we look at what we got going on here, we got the red-yellow edge here. We got the red-magenta edge here, so we're going to want to pair these up. So what we can do for this is, well, first we want to move this edge to the back so that it's easier to pair. So we do U, then RW to move to this side now, and then we can do U prime R. So what that did is it paired it up in the back, as you can see, and the color scheme is correct, of course. And so now the next part is a little bit different. So we see this red triangle is here, and then we have the other red pieces here that we want to match up. So We'll do this in multiple steps here because if we look, this triple or this large trapezoid is oriented, is not in the correct orientation on this side. It needs to be over here. So to fix that, what we'll do is, well, first we'll do U so that we're kind of preparing this to be matched up. And we can do RW prime, U prime to fix this, and then R prime, and now that matched up this. So now we can do RW prime, U, R prime and there's our red center. So it's not the most nicest case that we've seen, but there it is. So there's the red center, and now we can move on to the last two centers. So for this, well, I see this blue-gray edge here, and in order to make this pair with something, we'll do a U prime first to put it in the back, and then R W prime, so now we have it here. So now this is the blue-gray, so we want the blue magenta on the right-hand side here. So what we can do is we see it here, and then the triangle, there's a blue triangle here already matched up. So we can do U, let's bring it here, then R, U, R, S, and that matches it up. U prime, R, W prime, so now we have this done. Now the last part is to match up this bar and put it in here, well, the small trapezoid. So you can do U, R, U prime. That puts this triangle in the spot ready to match with this. U prime, R, U, R prime. And that builds this center here. And then, of course, this one's going to be built automatically on top. So there's our last two centers. So now we want to orient them. And actually, we see something pretty nice, that our last bottom triple is actually already paired up. So that doesn't happen all the time, but it's nice when it does. So we'll first orient the top center, so the gray's over here. So we want to do U, puts it here. RW, the gray is right here this time, so we're going to do U prime. Okay, 
So now remember that this was already paired up, so RO to reorient the puzzle. And this is already ready to go into the slot, so we'll do BL to bring the slot over here. And F prime U prime F U puts it in. And then BL will solve our bottom layer like this. So we already got most of the puzzle done now. So now we'll hold it like this and see what we've got going on. So for this case, I can already see that this is matched up. So we'll go ahead and do mismatched pair formation for these last three triples. So we already have this one done. And the problem is that, well, this one here. So, so we got this one done. And this yellow triangle is here, but the only other non-gray corner that's on the bottom is this one here with magenta, and that's going to actually form an identical pair here, so we don't want that. So instead what we want to think about doing is somehow pairing the, the blue uh, corner over here with this triangle. So what we can do is we're going to the puzzle like this and do the CCW flipping algorithm. So now we have that. Now we can do U, and that will pair up this now. So now we have it where we're using all three colors and nothing matches. So we've got this. Now we could do the CCW flipping algorithm again, but notice where our last triangle is. It's over here. And if we were to do it, it would end up going in the solved position. So we don't want to do that. So instead we can do the CW flipping algorithm. So that's this one, R prime R prime L, R, L prime, like this. So now that puts the blue triangle in a non-solved slot, so that's good, so we don't have a two-flip case. Then we can do U prime here, orient the puzzle like this. Now to solve our bottom triangles, we can see we're going to need to do the CW flip algorithm, so put yellow here. So we do that. We've got that done, and now the last thing to do is corner permutation. So hold the puzzle like this now. This is pretty much the best way to hold it to do this, to, to execute this algorithm, this finger trick. And then of course, it's just the counterclockwise CP. So that's F, D prime, F, U, F prime, D, F, U prime, F. And the puzzle is now solved. So there's just a walkthrough of that particular scramble. Uh, I hope this helped visualize what this method is doing, how this method works, and so forth. And definitely for this solution you saw, I was using a, pretty much the most advanced techniques that I have to in the solution to solve it. So that's a demonstration of how that works. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.